Hello world and welcome to another video and yes this is what my hair looks like when it's air dried and I don't do anything with it. Beautiful. Today we're making some art aka colouring stuff in. So let's get started. So um, I've drawn this little birdie in a little bird house on a tree surrounded by leaves in pencil and now I'm going to put it on this easel that I bought from the works who are delivering. I've got some sharpies down here. This was eight pounds from Tesco's so I bought it. The girl made some purchases. I've also bought these gel pens from the works for four pounds. Um, look it says for kids on it so I should be able to do it. Let's get started. There's a pigeon that's roosting in the ivy at the end of the garden and there's also so many crows on our street at the minute so I think that um, the crows want to eat the babies of the pigeon although surely the birdies are fledged now I don't know I don't know enough about it That's supposed to be a little perch um, for the birdie to land on to then hop in. Oh, this is definitely the pink I should have used. Oh no. I made a mistake. Oh well. To match it in with the pink, I'm going to use this. This blue. Now I wanted to make the little birdie in there blue, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this f this fine point. But then again, I'm going to have to creep myself in. My dad always used to say as well, if you're working on something. That you've already covered you shouldn't rest your hand on that page you should put a blank piece of paper over where your hand is going so i'm going to do that now art am i doing it right dad am i an artist yet so i've been watching quite a few creative things lately and one of which is mariah elizabeth i've really been enjoying her crafts she paints on squishies. She likes things that typically people would associate with children. Like me, because I'm drawing a picture of a little birdie in a bird box. Another person that I've been watching recently is Royalty Soaps. It's Katie Carson, I believe her name is. And they make soap on that channel. <laughs> I've never really been interested in soap. I'm allergic to Lush, like super allergic to Lush. I cannot go inside a Lush shop. I can't walk past a Lush shop without my nose itching. So I can't enjoy all of those like, what are they called? Soap? <laughs> That's not the word I was looking for, but bubble bars I think they're called. I'll link both of those channels or a video from those channels in the description. I'm going to colour all of it in in green 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this little corner here, and then I'm going to turn the camera off, and then... Oh, that matches my nail varnish. Whee! I get distracted quite easily. I'm not sure if you ever noticed. I'm going to colour this part in, because you don't need to see me do it a gazillion times, do you? So the next thing I need to do is fill this bad guy in, this circle, and then I also need to fill in the wood. And by wood, I mean trees. There's only one ground. It's more of a like a chocolatey brown, isn't it? Mm. Do you like now? How do you like this brown? Turn it round. Tell you what, it's dinner time. Sorry, I keep moving this. For anybody that is wondering or pondering as to how come the tree isn't going up here and then the birdhouse is attached to the tree vertically like traditional birdhouses aka the only birdhouses that I've ever seen have always been attached to something uh, like a screw at the back. Well this birdhouse is different what you can't see is on the inside, there's a screw going down and into this branch. So if that was something that you were concerned about, that it's not affixed properly, I assure you it is. Um, and there's also like some brackets holding it upright uh, on the other side of the, the branch. Um, so don't worry about it, it's fine, it's on safe. so far huh okay I'm gonna put the black outline on everything now so I'm swapping this ultra fine point to a fine point for the tree trunks because uh, against the brown you can't really see anything
now all that is left to do is to outline the bird box and the bird and the chicks and the perch. Do, 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 do. Okay, that is done. I'm going to show you up close how we're looking. Wow! Art! Okay, I'm going to use this silver sparkly gel pen and I'm going to highlight the birdie's eyes. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, great. <laughs> I don't think you can see that, but honestly, fantastic. I drew this the other day and I'm gonna color it in with the gel pens. So to begin with, I'm gonna do the sprinkles, the um, sprinkles and then the sort of round sprinkle also. Uh, but these are all from the neon section. So the theme that I'm gonna do for this one strawberry and lemon Those babies done. I'm gonna make the actual cake that you can see that's visible gold colour because there isn't really a cake colour. I need some sunglasses on while I'm working on this. So that's that bit done. Um, I'm going to make that fluorescent yellow, even though this colour, you can't really see it on camera, but it's hurting my eyes. I wonder if I can get it to a point where you can actually see what the, the fact, can I turn this off? I don't know if you can tell how fluorescent it is, but it is fluorescent. I feel like um, instead of this looking delicious, like the last one I did looked, this is going to look toxic. <laughs> So I forgot what I was doing and I accidentally coloured the cherry in. I've used a red that's sparkly. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, um, I'm going to now fill in the... You can't really see anything, can you? There you go. I'm going to fill in the cupcake jacket house. What's it called? Wrapper, maybe? Words. Ooh. Well, this doesn't want to come out. <laughs> oh no. Um, I 
accidentally it's all like pulled out. <laughs> worst thing that has ever happened. I am so sorry, this is terrible. I'm just going to do the edges. I'm going to have to be really close because it's like you can see, it's like pulling on the tip. Okay, I just need to remember that this is just broken. <laughs> cleaned it off. Oh gosh. What's everybody's favourite flavour of cupcake? I'm a massive fan of vanilla, but I also really like chocolate. So if I was in a cafe, you know imagine a world where cafes are open and everyone's not afraid of going outside. <laughs> if there was the choice between a vanilla cupcake or a chocolate cupcake, I'd probably go for vanilla. Crazy, okay, well, I know never ever to use this purple ever again unless I want purple in pools. What do you think? I made these! I made these! Look at the detail on the birdie. We've got some really thick chunky lines here that are, are totally on purpose. The way that I did the branches I think it makes it look like it's round. That was the intention anyway. Um, that one I did not do it with. <laughs> and you can see the little chicks Cheep, 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 because they want their mummy to give them some wormies. Ta da! I made it! I made this too! Toxic cupcake! Ooh, psychedelic toxic cupcake! Do 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 It's supposed to be strawberry and lemon, but it sort of just looks like it's toxic. <laughs> can you see the sparkles on the cherry? Yeah, you can. This cupcake holder gave me a lot of trouble. Nice. Sweet. What do you think? I made these! Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. I think the little birdie's got it for me, to be honest. Okay, people are playing music outside, so I'm gonna go, thank you, love you, bye. You didn't really think I wasn't gonna do a handstand. Come on. It's probably a bad idea. Ooh. That was the light fitting again. definitely falling slowly. Let's <sighs> be done. Um, I forgot to thank everyone for liking and subscribing. I've got 49 subscribers now, so I'm one away from 50. 
if you haven't already and you'd like to please press that button so i can get to 50 subscribers <laughs> but in all honesty thank you